Hi guys, welcome back to another video. This is our homemade steering wheel, pedals, along with head shifter, which we have already made a tutorial. If you have not come across any of this, you can get those link in the description box. In this steering wheel, we have attached a 10 kilo ohm potentiometer directly. If this is the center, if you rotate, it just locks here and you can't rotate further and same issue on the other side as well. In total, it just gives 270 degree rotation. And for playing games, this is not giving more realistic feel. And also we have received lot of requests from you guys. for making 900 degree steering wheel so this video will be a upgradation of this steering wheel to a 900 degree so make sure you watch the complete video till the end for making the outer box i'm using this plywood piece We will make it into two pieces. For the steering rod, I am using this threaded bolt of length 30 cm and 5 mm thickness. Next, I have taken this gear wheel of diameter 85 mm and having 56 teeth. Also, a smaller gear wheel of 25 mm diameter and having 15 teeth. For your reference, all this dimension information will be in the description box. Before proceeding further, I'll show you the basic principle. Here, the smaller gear wheel will be a driving gear which will be connected to a steering wheel and the bigger one will be a driven gear. So we will be connecting a potentiometer to this. If we try to calculate the gear ratios from driving to driven gear using the number of teeth we get 1 is to 3.7 that means if we rotate the smaller wheel for 3.7 times then a bigger wheel will complete one round this gives more rotation on the steering wheel I have bought this gear wheels from a local electronic shop and also you will be able to find the similar product links in the description and one more thing if you don't find the same gear wheels, you can go with any other wheels which gives the gear ratio in between 1 is to 3 and 1 is to 4. Now we'll start mounting all the components. To mount a bigger wheel, I'm using this 12 volt DC gear motor empty shaft so that the mounting become easier. And the smaller gear wheel goes here.
this is the normal 10 kilo ohm potentiometer which has to be connected to this bigger gear wheel for that i'll make a frame using the c channel aluminum bar This is how the frame looks. I'll be mounting this here. And the potentiometer will be connected in this way. I am making use of a waste pen refill just to increase the thickness and the length of a potentiometer shaft. I have also made one more hole here to lock the potentiometer shaft. I'll be using these bearings for the smooth movement of the steering rod which will go here
the main advantage of using this threaded bolt is you can easily adjust the gear wheel position using the nut wherever you require. And at this part, we'll be connecting the steering wheel. So this was our old steering wheel. I'll be making use of the same one. I have drilled a hole at the center for mounting. We are almost done, but there is one last important thing you have to do. Since the potentiometer has only 270 degrees, if you keep on rotating the steering wheel, the potentiometer can break. So we have to lock the bigger wheel. I am following this simple step. So if you start rotating the wheels on one side, This is the end, which means it has reached zero degree. Just one or two teeth before, I'll be locking the gear wheel simply by filling a glue. Similarly, keep rotating it on other direction. So this is where it locks. That means the potentiometer has reached 270 degrees. Same as before. I'll be filling the glue just two teeth before and finally this is the result so this is not allowing us to move further once the potentiometer reach its end on both the sides finally our 900 degree steering wheel is ready In this video, I'll be not showing any connections or the software part since I have already made step-by-step -step tutorials on that. You can able to get the complete playlist link in the i button or in the description box below. If you are planning to make one and have any doubts, just leave a comment below. And also don't forget to enjoy the short gameplay at the end of this video thank you for watching and i'll see you again in the next one
Thank <laughs> you.